ग्रथिताम पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारतम अद्वैताम रतवर्षिनीम भगवतीम अष्टादशाध्यायिनीम अम्बत्वाम अनुसंधामी भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेशिनीम नमोस्तुते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे कुल्लार विंदाय तपत्र नेत्र येनत्वया भारत तैल पूर्णह प्रज्वालितो ज्ञान मय प्रधीपह प्रपन्न पारि जाताय तोत्र वेत्रैक पाणये ज्ञान मुद्राय क्रिष्णाय गीता मृत दुहे नमह सर्मो पनिशदो गावो दोग्धागो पाल नंदनह पार्थो वत्स सुधीर भोक्ता दुग्धं गीता मृतं महत वसुदेव सुतं देवं कम्स चानूर मर्दनं देवकी परमानंदं कृष्णं बंदे जगत्वुरुं यम्ब्रम्हावरुनेंद्र रुद्र मरुतह सुन्वंति दिव्यै स्तवैहि वेदै सांग पदक्रमो पनिशदै गायंति यम सामगाह ध्यानावस्थित तद्र देन मनसा पश्यंति यम योगिनो यस्यांतन्न विदुस्सुरा सुरगणाह देवायत स्मैनमाह Here is the meaning of the Guru Sloka here. I offer my salutations to my Guru who removes the darkness of ignorance of the unenlightened by applying the ointment of this Adhyatmic knowledge and opens the eyes to this light of enlightenment. 
Now, the meaning of the Gita Mahatmyam slokas. The first one. One who recites with devotion this Bhagavad Gita scripture, which is the bestower of all knowledge, wisdom and virtue, will attain the holy abode of Bhagavan Vishnu, which is always free from the mundane qualities based on fear and lamentation. Next, if one reads Bhagavad Gita very sincerely, then by the grace of Bhagavan, the karmas of the past misdeeds will not act upon him. Next, one may clean and purify himself daily by taking a bath in water. But if one takes a bath even once in the sacred Ganga called Bhagavad Gita, for him the impurities and the afflictions of material life is altogether vanquished. Next, because Bhagavad Gita is spoken by Paramatma, the transcendental eternal self, one need not read any other Vedic literature. One needs to only read or hear this Bhagavad Gita with great attention. In this present age, people are so busy, involved in so many mundane activities, that they do not have the time to read all of the Vedic literature. But all this extensive reading is not necessary. Just this one book, Bhagavad Gita, will suffice because it is the essence of all Vedic literature and it is directly spoken by Paramatma Krishna. Next, by drinking this Ganga water of this Bhagavad Gita, the quintessence of the Mahabharata emanating from the mouth of Bhagavan Krishna, the cycle of birth and death comes to an end, which means one does not have to take birth again. Next, all the Upanishads are like a cow and the milker of this cow, called the Upanishads, is Lord Sri Krishna. Arjuna is the calf drinking this beautiful nectar, and the fortunate devotee is also the drinker and enjoyer of this milk or the nectar, which is the essence of the Upanishads. Next, if there need be only one holy scripture, the Divine Gita sung by Bhagavan Sri Krishna and if there be only one worshipable God, let it be Paramatma Krishna, the Transcendental Eternal Self and if there is only one mantra, let it be the holy names of Bhagavan and if there is only one duty, let it be the devotional service to Bhagavan Krishna and his teaching. Jai Gurudev.